My name is Janae Manley. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a leader and organizer with KC Tenants. Last summer, our strategy team got together and we had taken a lot of the thoughts around the COVID-19 and what was happening there and also the uprisings of last summer and envisioned a world where we weren't living in constant crisis of eviction and the violence of policing and asked ourselves what we wanted to do as organizers. And we had decided that we wanted to get a housing trust fund, but not only did we want to have a housing trust fund, but we wanted to hold accountable the systems that had harmed us and continue to harm our communities, right? So we talk about policing, we talk about how the police have constantly continued to harass and abuse black folks specifically, but community in general, right? Like that's what the police are set up to do, to protect property instead of people. And we talked about how evictions are violent and are actually killing people. And they were killing people before the pandemic, but it became so clear then. So we decided that we wanted to take money from the systems that harm us and invest that into a system that would heal. And for us, that looked like a housing trust fund. So long-term solutions for housing and investing in communities that have been harmed by the systems that they are. So we spent the better part of last year doing a lot of research and spending a lot of time with our leaders who are directly impacted by these issues and asking how do we create a housing trust fund that serves poor and working class people across Kansas City and is set up to reinvest in our communities and not extract from them. And we did our research, we envisioned it, we did a lot of workshops with our base and created the People's Housing Trust Fund. So our first draft of it was ready in about February, but then as we watched the budget season happen in 20, February of 2021, um, they had cut the Office of the Tenant Advocates funding, which is a key piece of making sure that tenants are actually staying safe in their homes and not being taken advantage of. So we decided to organize around that. We won the full funding of the Office of the Tenant Advocate, and that's when we previewed our vision for a People's Housing Trust Fund. And the goal of that is for poor and working class people to decide how and where we live with dignity and respect. And on June 26th, we held a tenant reckoning at Gabriel Tower, where we know that the crisis is very clear of how our communities are extracted from through gentrification, through tax abatements to companies like Millennia, and also through constant harassment from police. They are a part of the crime, their building is covered under the crime-free housing multi-unit, sorry, the crime-free multi-housing unit, which is a police unit that literally stalks and harasses tenants and tells their landlords how to evict them. And so that to us was the crux of all of these systems. And we wanted to launch our proposal in a place where we have seen so much harm and have organized with so many tenants that are deeply impacted by this work and talk about our vision for how we solve it. And yeah, June 26th, we launched the People's Housing Trust Fund.